Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be how I get this really nice glowy skin. Um, as most of you know, I am super oily, especially around my T-zone. And sometimes I can get a little too oily, especially around the summer. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can look really nice and highlighted without just looking like a grease ball. So that is everything that I need to say. Um, most of these products, I believe, are on the affordable side. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started and I'll see you guys soon. So I'm first going to go in with the Pore Professional by um, Benefits and I'm going to concentrate this in the areas where I get the most oil which is right around my nose. Now for the face I'm going to be mixing two foundations. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mattes and the L'Oreal True Match foundation. This will keep me matte but this will give me a glow at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the matte foundation and I'm going to take just a tiny bit and I'm going to be applying it to places where I get oily. So again, um, right in through here. This is just where I get a lot of oil. And on my chin. I'm going to blend that out first and I'm going to go in with a flat kabuki brush. This is by the brand Beauty Junkies. And I'm going to be pressing that onto the skin. And on the rest of my skin, I'm going to use the True Match again by L'Oreal. This is Warm uh, W6. And I'm just going to be applying that pretty much everywhere else because I usually don't get oily around there. So. I'm just going to press that onto the skin to make sure I get full coverage. So now I'm going to go in with concealer. I will be using the Naked Skin Concealer because it is so lightweight and it provides full coverage. So I'm just going to bring that from in here down. I'm also going to apply that to my chin. And as always, I'm going to use my beauty blender just to blend everything out. Now I'm quickly going to set the underneath eye using the Rimmel State Max um, Press Powder and Translucent. Now one thing I've noticed is that when I set my whole concealer up to here, it's really hard for me to apply if I want like a cream uh, highlight on top. So I'm only going to be concentrating it right here, again, which is where I get the most oily. I'm just going to stop about right here and set that concealer because I am going to be using a cream highlights and just creams over powders don't go well so now I'm going to go in and start highlighting I know that it's weird because I haven't bronzed my face yet but like I said I want to apply my cream um, my cream highlight first and then I'm going to go in with powders so what I've been using is this elf shimmering um, facial whip and this is in the color golden peach it is so pretty and I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand I'm gonna be pretty generous because I want a really nice highlight it's so pretty as you can see so I am gonna take just a little bit and I'm going to be applying it right here And I'm going to go down. Now, um, to help me blend out everything, I'm going to use the tip of that beauty blender. And I'm just going to lightly pat it and then blend it away. And as you can see, that is already nice and bright. 
So now I'm gonna go in and set that highlights. I'm gonna be using this bronzer. This is Tropics by Hard Candy. I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just gonna grab some of that bronzer. So I'm just going to be placing it all over. So as you can see, it is really nice and glowing. So let me just do the same thing to this side of my face. Now taking some of that um, leftover highlight, I'm going to be applying it to the nose just right here. And then again, just blending it out. And then again, just setting it with that powder. So now I'm going to go in and apply just some color to the face. I'm going to be using the Jordana blush and this is in the color Terracotta. One of my all-time favorite blushes. You can use it as a bronzer as well, but I'm just going to be using it to just warm up the face a little bit more. The cheekbones are... And just really lightly bring some color. So now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to keep it really, really, really simple. I'm just going to take this brown right here. This is the Jaclyn Hills Favorite Palette by Morph Brushes. And I'm just going to take it on a fluffy brush. And I'm really just going to be pretty messy with it and apply it on the entire eye. Now on the lid, I'm going to be using this 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the color Stargazer. This is by Urban Decay and I'm really just going to be applying it on the lid. lid. I actually went in with this LA Girl Glide Pencil. Um, this is in the color Goldmine, and I'm going to be placing that on the top. As you can see, this is a lot darker. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply my uh, falsies. I'm not going to do wing eyeliner today just because I wanted to keep it rather simple. And these are the lashes that I'm going to be using today. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera, and then we can finish off the rest of our makeup. So I actually finished off my eyes and I just did the same thing. I just took that brown color and brought it to the lower lash line and applied some mascara. So now we're going to move on to lips. Um, I want to keep it really, really nude. So I'm going to use um, Nude Embrace by Maybelline. This is the Matte's Collection. It's a really pretty nude color. As you can see, it's totally nude, but I want to add some gloss, and I'm going to go in with this one. This is also by Maybelline. This is um, Nude something, 060 Nude, and this has a little bit more brown tone, so it's going to top it off. Now I'm just going to seal everything with the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. And that is everything. So as you can see, we're really nice and glowy. These steps are just going to keep us mattified throughout the day, even for us oily girls. So I hope you learned something new and if you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!